Happy October! It's official. I'm cold. <sighs> Winter is coming, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so, I thought I would do a bit of an update video because I am very much aware there we go, um, that things on our channel have been very very quiet recently and <clears throat> if you've not been following us on other social media you may not know why and so I thought I would do a bit of an update video to kind of fill you guys in on what's been going on in my life and what's going on with Jack Jack and kind of yeah I feel you guys in a bit um, with what's going on with us so yeah might repeat that a few more times who knows As I said, we've been very quiet the last kind of through three weeks really. Um, so if you've not been following our social media um, a week or so ago, I was actually in America. Um, I went on a bit of a mismatched trip. <clears throat> so I went to visit my godfather and my godmother over in New York and then Flew over to California to work with an awesome dog trainer called Sherry Lucas. Um, vlogs of that trip will be going up on our business's channel. Um, I did think about putting some stuff on here, but hello, darling. Um, I decided not to. Hello. So here he is. <clears throat> I've been. I was away for about ten days. I get you a camera. One second. Um, and obviously was not with the boy. He got have some carrots. He says thank you. Yummy. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put a head collar on and then I will resume the story. Hi! Mwah. Yes, you have more carrot. One moment, please. <laughs> okay, resuming. Ah, being followed by another pony. You're not coming in yet, darling, sorry. Um, so yeah, I was in America for about 10 days and obviously Nathan and lovely Lona Hope oh wait, careful um, we're in charge of Patchy Boy come on boy <clears throat> um, literally a few days before I went to America um, he decidedly hurt himself whilst out hacking with Hope um, and basically, long story short he got his foot stuck in a hole coming through the ford a shoe and kind of cut his foot a little bit not too bad gee go on um but i'll stick up some pictures That was literally just a few days before I left, so I had to get a shoe put back on. He was off for a couple of days. My arm's hurting. I need a smaller camera. Um, gee, you're not helping. Um, so yeah, he was off for a couple of days whilst... Go on, thank you. Um, whilst he recovered and then I just kind of thought, oh, he's not too bad. Just bring him lightly back into work whilst I'm away. So I had a couple of days off. Need to swap hands. <clears throat> Had a couple of days off and then started just doing some light work. Seemed to be fine, no problemo. I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna need more hands for this. I'm surrounded by horses. Okay, survived. One more field to get through. Um, so yeah, he was brought back into work. Seemed to be doing okay. Um, Hope wasn't doing loads with him. Um, but just kind of some basic stuff whilst I was away to keep him ticking over. Why? I don't understand. You're not seeing the farrier, calm down. Somebody else has got a farrier here. <laughs> Weirdo, come on. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> come on. Oh boy, you're not seeing the farrier, calm down. <clears throat> the farrier's parked in a weird place, which is not normal in Little Jack's world. Um, but anyway, yeah. I got back just over a week ago now. Oh, I dropped the lead rope. I'm not doing great at this, guys, am I? Come on, there's a good boy. Um, yeah, I got back here into the country last Thursday. <clears throat> and came down and just kind of saw him. Twizzle around. All right, walk on. Come on, darling. <clears throat> And you'll notice that I sound a bit funny. Well, that would be because I got COVID. Brought COVID home from America. <laughs> had the, basically the flu for two days and then tested positive. They, we thought I had a chest infection. Tested positive and I have had COVID for just over a week. Whole family's got it as well. Nathan's just literally tested negative today. So has come down to join. But it's been a bit of a chaotic week. Mm. You're a strong, independent man. You don't need no woman. <laughs> or wheelbarrow. <laughs> Nathan, how happy out of ten are you to be out of isolation? Eleven. Eleven. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. Jack is also very happy about that. Oh, you stopped. That was really mean. Oh, is that noise? He says, if we could just do this all day, every day, then I would be happier. <laughs> he says, I'm quite happy being a retired bog monster. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for grooming my coat. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So. Hi. Um, anyway, moving on with the story. We had COVID. Mm, You're welcome. It's nice and sunny. Um, and I came out a few days ago, did a bit of in hand work with him because he, for some reason, just wasn't looking and feeling quite right. Um, we were supposed to be jumping, both Hope and I, and we pulled because he just wasn't, hey, wasn't quite right. <laughs> I don't need grooming, thank you. Um, <clears throat> rode him yesterday in the field and just did a little bit of walk and trot and he seems okay but he's lost <clears throat> lost some definition um, especially in his bum area you can see a little bit on this side here he's lost a bit of definition again um, so he spoke to he's so cute yeah, I know. Spoke to the vet. And <clears throat> he wants just to do some light work with him. I don't know what he's looking at. Um, light work, just to bring him back into work for a week. And then if he's still not quite right, he'll come out and see him. He's going on a new Pure Feed, which is their conditioning mix. So we're gonna transfer him over to that <clears throat> to help build his top line and get him some condition you know he's an older horse he does need a little bit of help in those areas um, and he also needs to get his saddle checked <clears throat> because obviously where he's lost definition he's changed shape hi um hello darling why are you being pushy um so yeah we're being in contact with a few saddlers um our saddler can come out but not for a couple of weeks and ideally we'd like it checked before that so um, we've been contacting a few different saddlers in the area to see if we can get someone out sooner. Um, but yeah, look at your crusty eyes. Just stop it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on with us. We're going to go, I think just for a little hack, maybe go in the school for five or ten minutes, just do something light with him. 
um, for the next week and see how he's doing really. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why we've been a bit quiet recently. We just haven't really been doing much, have we, Jack Jack? That face, he's so cute. Isn't he adorable? Darling. Nathan's not listening. What's that dear? Isn't he adorable? He is adorable. <laughs> and the pain. He's also enjoying being a very retired, very hairy pony, aren't you? Right. Let's get him settled up then. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. This is okay. <laughs> So we went for a little hack, um, you can tell he's not been worked in a week, he was very spicy, very spooky, weren't you? Um, and then we just called off in the school, did a little bit of walk and trot in the school, just to do a little bit in there and calm him down a bit as well because he was a bit spicy. Um, but yeah, he feels quite nice actually, didn't you? Yeah, I'll um, update you guys in the next few days to see how he's doing. He's so cute. Yes, you are so cute. We're home. Patchy boy is all tucked up in bed with his new dinner. So we've um, obviously because he's changing over to a new food, we're mixing stuff at the moment. So he's got um, most of what he normally gets and then a little bit of the other food. Um, and then we'll slowly mix it over in the next <clears throat> next few days, up to a week maybe even. Although we don't have to do it for ages because it is the same brand of food and it's not much different. Um, but yeah, we're doing a bit of a changeover period at the moment. So he's got some of his new dinner, which he really liked actually. Normally he wants his haylage more than anything, but he was quite happy with his dinner tonight. Um, I also forgot to update you, excuse me. As you can see, I still got a little bit of a cough and it's very irritating. Um, that in a couple of weeks, we are actually moving to a new yard. It's been a really difficult decision. We've gone back and forth a lot over the last few months, um, but we've decided to give it a go. Um, we absolutely love the yard that we're on and um, it's a really nice, really nice yard. Um, but it is a little bit more on the pricey end and um, <clears throat> we're just at the moment we are making smart decisions with our finances obviously with the cost of living rising and everything getting more and more expensive um, we're trying to make some smart decisions to make sure that we can um, continue to care for him as best as we possibly can so we're actually moving to a yard that our friends moved to a little while ago one of her horses um, ended up being retired and so he's basically taking that horse's space it's a really nice little DIY yard. He'll be going out in the field with um, our friend's other two horses. One is a gelding that he already knows and another is a mare. It's a really super quiet yard. There's not um, that many horses. I think there's about nine horses, so it's pretty quiet. Um, the hacking is not the best, but there are bridle ways and they've now got fields that we can walk around. Um, <clears throat> you can get access to bridle ways and stuff like that, but you just have to go on. Um, a couple of quieter roads um, which is fine but we have got access to a box so we can go out and do stuff um, more with him than we would here with all the hacking that we've got um, so we will still come back for like hacking with with some of our friends on this yard and all of that um, but yeah that's kind of our <clears throat> current life update um, we're getting there. Um, he definitely seems to be doing a lot better than he was um, and the vet is not overly concerned at the moment which is good. Um, we went for a little hack, just a little one, just a little walk and a little bit of trot and then went in the school and just did a little bit of walk and trot work. Um, he was a bit spicy, I did say earlier, he was a bit spicy so um, <clears throat> yeah he did fine. Um, but yeah um, that's kind of our life update at the moment. Um, I know this isn't a particularly interesting vlog but I just thought I would give you guys a bit of an update of what's going on and um, and kind of catch up with you guys because um, yeah I'm, I'm well aware it's been a while that we've since we've made a video. Um, I have hopefully got some plans coming up. Obviously I will do a I'll do a whole vlog of like moving because I think that'll be really interesting. Um, 
to do kind of a moving day slash days because it probably will take us a couple of days to move everything and get him settled and all that so I'll do a vlog about that um, <clears throat> and obviously we'll update you guys um, in the next couple of weeks with how Jack is doing um, and all of that progress stuff um, but yeah hopefully back on track in, in the next few weeks um, we are we had potentially decided to go at the end of October to a show jumping competition there's like a Halloween show jumping competition um, but obviously it will depend on how he is doing over the next few weeks and stuff as to whether we do end up doing that um, or we just sit this one out and um, you know there's other stuff that we can do I've got some dressage competitions um, in the diary so if we can go to them um, I'm hoping we can go to some more dressage um, and in December there is a combined training at our local riding school um, <clears throat> that I'd really like to try with him so I'm determined to get our dressage up to scratch before we go to this combined training um, because yeah I think it'd be really fun to do together um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do give us a like and comment below any questions that you have. Um, I'll happily answer any questions that you have. Um, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our, our channel. And I will see you guys hopefully in a more interesting video soon. See so ya, yeah, bye!